Hey guys, Hackersploit here, back again with another video. So uh, I've, I've been in the middle of, you know, like setting up one of my workstations and um, I came across something that I have done before, but I don't really think I've covered it. I'm not really sure everyone knows how to do. Um, the reasons for that are, of course, uh, you know, plenty. Um, and what I'm talking about is uh, converting packages, Linux packages, um, you know, from one into another. So in my case, converting uh, an RPM package uh, into a Debian package, right? Or, you know, for the Debian package manager, which uh, again is very important. As you know, one of the issues that we have in Linux is the, uh, you know, the really poor ways of distributing packages. Now, when I say poor, I'm not like hitting on any of them, any of the package managers, but it's so diverse that one, you know, based on distribution to distribution must know how to, you know, use something like Pac-Man, you need to know how to use something like RPM, YUM, uh, the Aptitude Package Manager, and then Debian Package Management System. And, you know, it's just too much, right? And most of the time, you just want to get your package installed. And in my case, uh, if we go to the Google Chrome page here, which I was actually setting up Chrome on one of my workstations here, which is where I'm recording this. And uh, if you click on Download Chrome, you can see it tells you it has two packages. In this case, we have Debian, which is appropriate for my case because I'm running Ubuntu now. And then you also have Fedora and OpenSUSE. And this is the RPM package manager, right? Um, and then of course, you can check out the other releases. So this is for the Chromium package, which I also use. Uh, but that's really not what I'm interested in. If I want to install Chrome, and let's just say there wasn't a Debian package, like, uh, so how would I actually, ins uh, how would I convert the RPM package? into a Debian package. And there's a really cool utility that I was introduced to a few years ago, and that's called the Alien, uh, the Alien package or utility. So the Alien utility allows you to convert or install an Alien binary package. Now, when, you, when you're talking about an Alien binary package, what this means is that this package is alien to your system in that your system is unable to install it in its current form. Now that doesn't mean that, you know, the files and resources are so different as, you know, to the fact or to the point where you, you, you know, this is an entirely different architecture. It was developed for an entirely different operating system. You know, you're still running the Linux kernel. You're just dealing with uh, the additional uh, or the added layer of abstraction, which is the, the actual package manager that you're using. So, uh, you know, cutting it short, you can convert, you know, packages, you can convert one package to another, you can see it's primarily, um, again, you can take a look at the description. So alien is a program that converts between Red Hat, RPM, Debian, uh, Stampede, SLP and Slackware, TGZ. And you also have your Solaris PKG file format. So you can convert it uh, through any of these formats. Uh, you know, so I can convert RPM to Debian, so on and so forth, you get the idea. So I'll just take you through how to do that. So again, I want to install Chrome. And if I open up one of my download folders, you can see uh, that I have the RPM file here. So what I'll do is I'll just open up a terminal session here. And the first thing I'm going to do is whoops, that's a bit too large. So I'm just going to install so sudo apt install alien, right? Um, whoops, my bad. Uh, keep getting that wrong. So alien, and uh, I'll just enter my root password here. And I'll install the alien utility. So this will allow me to convert that package, right? So um, I'll just wait for this to complete. And um, that shouldn't take, you know, more time than it needs to. All right, cool. So that's done. So again, it's very simple. First of all, I'll just give this executable permission. So chmod plus x, and then we say Google Chrome, right? And uh, to convert it again, we just say alien to deb or the uh, to, to a Debian package, right? So to do that, we just say alien to deb, I believe is that to deb as like so we say Google Chrome hit enter. All right, so I need to run this root, my bad. I'm uh, always used to having that done. So again, it's going to create it. It's going to create the package or rather just convert it. Um, you can read more about this. I'll be posting the man pages for this the Ubuntu man pages, that is. Um, so uh, there's a lot of a lot of information here um, that you can go through and you know, based on the size of the package and um, and how it was built, um, I believe I'm not too sure, then it'll, it'll take that much time. So in, in this case, let me just drag that onto my other monitor here, you can see it's um, 
uh, it looks like there's a signature issue and it's done so it's generated uh, google chrome stable and this is the debian package which we have right here so again now even that we have that i can now you know expand this and uh, we can say chmod plus x and we say google chrome stable and then it's 83 right so it gives us the actual architecture here or the release version sorry not the architecture and then the architecture at the end and uh, then um so again i need to use root here and that does that for me so then i can say sudo dpkg i for install and i say google chrome stable uh, dot deb and that's going to install google, google chrome for me my bad that was quite the tongue twister so that should be done now and if i search for google chrome uh well there we are we can actually see it works and it in set it up and installed it perfectly and this was a package that was not designed for uh you know debian based distributions so uh no i do not want that and there we are so we have chrome set up uh really simply so this will work for most packages um that are not uh, you know built for uh, for debian systems or any of the other systems that alien supports and of course it's much easier it's much more efficient um much more worthwhile to learn how to compile uh, linux uh, software from scratch which is something i also intend on covering but um yeah i just wanted to make this quick little video covering how to do this so again check it out it's alien just called the alien package and uh, yeah that's gonna be it for this video and i'll be seeing you in the next video mm -hmm.